Hello, my friends. I'm Roberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And today is a very special day for me for many reasons. But to begin with, we're right here at the offices of Maya Ocean, one of the biggest and most important developers here in the Riviera Maya. And with me, she is Ruby Yo. She is Canadian and she is a broker and team leader here in Maya Ocean. And today we're going to be looking at a little presentation of the developments and then we're going to be going on site to actually see what we are we going to be presenting today. So, hey, how are you doing? Good morning. Very fine. Good, good. So, I'd like to start with something a little personal. I'd like for you to talk a little bit about yourself because you're Canadian, you've been living here for three years, your family's here, and I think it is important for people because at the end there are a lot of Canadians that watch uh, the, the channel, and so I think it's important that they know your experience, uh, what, what brings you to, to come down here, and how's your experience living here for the past three years? Absolutely the weather, because I like the sun, I like the beach, and I like the vibe too, uh, in that town, like everybody's smiling, and the, the cost of life is cheaper too, and for me, me, me um, paradise is my <laughs> better town. That is kind of good. You live here with your family, like, uh, yes. is your kid is in school? I have a kid of four years, he's going at school. Okay. The school is wonderful here, I really like it. Perfect. So, I would say that you recommend coming down here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Little question about the migration situation. Was that difficult or was just a little process you had to do? Or It's a process. The, um, the rules change very often, mm -hmm. but you need to go to the migratory uh, office mm -hmm. and play that domain and mm -hmm. you can initiate. Okay. It's very so, easy. Okay, perfect. No, I think that is important for, for, for folks to know. Now, let's talk a little bit about my Yaush. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is one of the biggest and most important developers nowadays. You have, I don't know, maybe like 10, 12 developments all around the city, either here in Bayel Camin and in Tulum. So, can you tell us a little bit about the story? How did they begin and all that? We are in business here in Playa del Carmen for uh, seven this is days. 16. 16 years. <laughs> and uh, we are master broker of many projects mm -hmm. and we are developer uh, too mm -hmm. of many projects. We have 26 projects. Oh, 26 projects. That's a lot. That's a lot of projects. So, yeah, I mean, at the end, in, this is very important because whenever we're dealing with, with my Ocean, they're going to have something that is going to fit your need. We're talking about a studios that we have here in Google that are super expensive, right in the, in the middle of the city, but there are also more luxurious, bigger uh, opportunities in the different yes. developments that you have. And even one that is a condo hotel, which is a whole concept on its own, a beachfront, uh, ocean view, that's fantastic. We're going to be able to talking a little bit more about that uh, in, in a moment. So, um, I don't know, to start with your yes. presentation. For the beginning, we have Cool Playa. It's my best product for quality price. We are in the central, we are at eight minutes walking to the beach, and we have a huge rooftop with infinity pool and everything, and the price is very interesting. It's small unity, you can see here. We have different model with the couch here, with the couch here. Now, if I may interrupt, because this one, I gotta say, is one of my favorites for one reason. They have a couple of studios that they are in the realm of the 18 square meters. They are small, yes. However, the development, look at that, the development is big. So if you're looking for an entry level investment, Cool Playa may be your choice because at the end, they have direct financing. You can finance it. What is going to be the number? And the first phase is for 27. 2027, so that brings us, gives us around three years to finance it, no interest directly with them. And again, if, if you're on a budget, those little studios may be your, your entryway to the, 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 the world of real estate investing here in the Riviera Maya. We have a garden pool at the first floor and we have infinity pool on the rooftop. They have barbecue, they have gym. They have a lot of MDC, you can mm -hmm. see. And you have a little ocean view from the rooftop. We have a lot of type of studio. 
completely down in the central mm. here, uh, two minutes of Benito Juarez, and you can go to the beach in five minutes mm -hmm. and have a new, brand new apartment with uh, parking. Yeah, underground parking. Yeah. You know, I mean, one of the features of Gold, another reason why I like it, is because it has a lot of amenities. So just coming back to the little studio, even if it's small, you don't have, there are two rooms there, if I remember correctly, yes. and the gym and everything. There's a lot of amenities there. So at the end, not many people are going to be spending a lot of time inside the studio. So they're just going to leave their bags there, go out, and they're going to have all, everything that Light Academy has to offer. But as well, in the, uh, the development, there are plenty of things to do. We are here, the most wonderful project of Tulum. The first one with a lot of amnesty like this. It's pyramides. It looks like a pyramid. We have pool on the roof. Many of the departments have own plunge pool on their terrace. I mean, we were talking about a simple studio in a big development in Playa del Carmen. This, my friends, is pretty much the opposite. This is a high luxury. It's a big, big, big development. Even all the design has been inspired in the Mayan pyramids and whatnot. In here, as you were saying, you have plush pools, you have big uh, condos, you have a lot of things, and this is a big development. It's Hernandez Amar, very near to the beach, too. Aldea Amar is, uh, I would say, the most exclusive gated community right now in, in, in uh, Tulum. Uh, it's pretty much where Tulum started becoming the, the world destination that it is today. Some may argue that it's not gated per se because right now there are no gates, but yeah, eventually there will be gates in, in, in Aldea Sama. The architecture of Pyramid is incredible. Here is the Sama. We have tennis market, yoga, pool, paddle, gymnast, and TV room, laundry, sport bar, lazy river, sand zone, sauna, ping pong, lounge room. We have to, this is the restaurant underground, the project. We have pedal tail, bike tail, balloon garden, court of sport, massage, hookah, snack bar, tennis, and a lot, a lot, a lot. Everything yeah. could be possible in India. Wine cellar. I can throw the La Caverna. Underground, inside the cave. So, so the, the project has, uh, like I said, not the project, it's not the private cave. Yes. That's where you're going to place the, uh, so the, the restaurant. The restaurant, the gym, so, and the wine cellar. Okay, good. We have fire pit, chess, uh, bar, uh, parking, theater, video game, and Wi Fi, and uh, Everywhere. <laughs> the gym is wonderful. It's on the cave. They have uh, our gallery, paddle, juice bar, beauty stand, and van parking, room service, waterfall, underground cena, dry zone, and nail bar. I mean, that's, that's pretty much like a hotel. That's uh, all the amenities you can have in a world class resort. Look, the restaurant wow. here, games. For kids, outdoor and outdoor, cinema, outdoor cinema. Where you can watch Pulp Fiction. Here, what kind of views do you have? Do uh, you have studios there? Or one bedroom, six bedrooms? What kind of views do you have there? And we have the studio to four bedrooms. To four bedrooms, all right. Well, unfortunately, today we're not going to be visiting the construction site of Pyramids because we're going to stay here in Playa del Carmen, but I'm pretty sure that eventually we will. Yeah, I mean, the, I think that the, the most impressive thing about these pyramids is really that the design, the architecture has been very carefully planned and it's been designed to resemble, let's say, not just the pyramids, but the whole ideology and the whole, uh, you know, way of life of, of, of the Mayan people. So they are taking advantage of having that big setup and put everything there. I mean, and have amazing spaces. So yeah, this is definitely, I mean, if you're into high luxury, this is a development you, you want to see. So Ruby, I would say that, why don't we start our little tour around the properties around here? Yes, let's so, go. Yes. Okay, perfect. See you.
Okay, my friends, so we just walked a couple of blocks from the office of Maya Ocean, and right now, right here, this is the construction site of Ocean Drop 2. We're located, this is the 40th Avenue and the 2nd, no, 4th Street and 40th Avenue, right downtown Playa del Carmen. So, Ruby, tell us a little bit, what is it that we're gonna be having here? What kind of units? We're gonna have here one bedroom and studio, only left five unity, and starting at uh, 3 million pesos. Okay, and what about the amenities down here? We have an uh, infinity pool at the rooftop, and we have a gym, a co-worker room. Okay, so from here, actually you're gonna have from the, from the uh, rooftop, you're gonna get a pretty nice view of the, of the city. It, something important, just a couple of blocks on that direction, you have Juarez Avenue. Juarez Avenue is a big thing, it's a big avenue, that's the avenue that takes you down to the ferry, to Cozumel, it takes you to, well, obviously Fifth Avenue, there's a, an access to the, the public beach, uh, you have Paseo del Carmen, the, 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 the plaza, so it's a big thing. Being close to, to Juarez Avenue is a big thing when in terms of location, but also it wouldn't be that good to be right on Juarez Avenue. That's just too noisy, too loud. But being here, this is a nice residential neighborhood. You're gonna find like there's a restaurant down there, there used to be a gym down there. So there are a couple of things that you can do. And at the end, this is 40th Avenue. So you're just about, let's say it's like seven blocks down to 5th yes. Avenue, something like that. Uh, we can move on, we can go to the next development that is actually just right there. So we took a little detour just to come here inside the construction site of uh, Ocean Drop 2. And uh, well, let me show you around a little bit. Right now it's not too impressive, but something that I just learned is that the new office of Maya Ocean is actually gonna be here. And this uh, development is going to be delivered in 2025, right? Yeah. That's next year. All right, so that's it. Let me show you around and we can move on. So remember the development we were talking about a second ago, the one that has the small studios, two pools, and that's actually very interesting? Well, this is gonna be built right there. This is the construction site of Cool Playa, right? So again, we're located in 40th Avenue and uh, fourth, uh, was 4th Street and 40th Avenue. And so again, just like the uh, Ocean Drop that is actually right there, it's an amazing location, super close from Juarez Avenue, super close from the beach. And so, uh, well, this is the construction site. When, when are you planning to on starting the construction? Uh, in five months. And the first phase, we're going to be finished in the 2027. Okay, the second 2027. one, the <laughs> 2028. Okay, so yes. there are two phases. The first phase, 2027. The second one, 2028. Yes, it's very big. Yeah. Uh, me, in the center Let here. me show there because it's going to be the whole block, right? Yes. I mean, it's all of this. The whole block is going to become uh, cool playa. Yes. On the roof here, we're going to have the infinity pool. Uh -huh. And in the center, in the ground, we're going to have another pool. Okay. With jardiness. Okay, perfect. So again, this is cool playa. Uh, this is going to be a massive development. And let me tell you, there are not many developments that actually can afford to buy a whole uh, block to, to start building. So that is going to allow to have a lot of amenities, plenty of units, and again, in a very, very good location. And just keep in mind that Maya Ocean is also building just right there, and there are some other developments around here. So that means that the whole zone is actually under a big development, and it's just the work of here, Maya Ocean. And so this is just a little, another angle, so you can appreciate the size of this. We were actually in that corner over there, and just take a look at that. It's all of this corner. This development is gonna be massive, like really massive. Here you will be able to enjoy of all amenities that you may possibly need to have to spend some unforgettable moments in this development. And there's something else that is very, very, very important. This one is actually going to interest you a lot. Here in Cool Playa, there's the possibility to get an ROI guaranteed 
on a contract. Some terms and conditions uh, will apply. You need to review the contract. But if you want to have a 10% ROI guaranteed, make sure to contact us. Get yourself a condo right here in Cool Playa and start, start living the dream of the real estate investor in the Riviera Maya. Okay, so right now we're standing in front of Serenata, another development by Baya Ocean that, as you can see right here, is ready for delivery and actually it's mostly uh, sold all right now. So how, what kind of units, what many units, uh, how many units do you have still there? They left one two bedroom and two studio. Okay, perfect. So the good thing is that today we're gonna be able to go right there to see how is it built. But just a little remark that I would like to say, we're right now on 52nd Street, right in the Colosio neighborhood that, as you know, is one of my favorite uh, neighborhoods right now, super booming right now. And just right there, what you see right there, that's the Federal Reserve on First Avenue, which, by the way, the view that you're gonna have right there from the rooftop of Serenata, it will remain unblocked like forever because again, that one is a Federal Reserve. So that means that they will never build anything right there. And over there, we have some guys moving their mattress now, but also we <laughs> But then we have the Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue is right there where you see the, the people walking by. That's Fifth Avenue. So 52nd between 1st and 5th Avenue. This is, my friends, the heart of La Colosio, a place with an amazing value growth potential and an excellent location. So let's get inside. So we're starting this little tour right here. This is uh, the underground parking over there. There are gonna be a couple of uh, lockers, Locker. right? Like storage spaces. And so uh, as you can see, the guys are right here just finishing up the last details. And we're going to go upstairs. Here we are in the one bedroom of Serenata. This is a one bedroom condo. Right now, what we see here is actually the, the living room. The entrance is just right there. That's the bathroom. And over here, we're being welcomed by one of these guys that is finishing all the works right here. And this would be the, the, the bedroom. And up there, sorry, this is the nice little terrace that we'll have here. And so this is the one bedroom unit that is still available, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what she's telling me is that actually when we take the elevator all the way upstairs, yes. you're gonna have, like you open the, the, the elevator door. A unique view. And you get an amazing view. Hi. Hi. Going up. Thank you. Okay, so right now we're in the fourth uh, floor and we're going to take a little tour through unit. It's 402, right? Yeah. And so this is a two bedroom uh, unit. Ruby, you can show it us. Here's the place for the washing machine. Okay. We have the principal bedroom here. The main bedroom right here. Just take a little tour. The bathroom. The bathroom that, okay, it's kind of dark right now, but. A huge shower. Trust me, my friends, it's, it's big, it's spacious. Here's the little living room. And I'd like to just to, to point your attention to the following. It's very, very well lit. I mean, the light and the ventilation here are pretty, pretty good. And over here... We have a small bedroom or office. So here the idea is a secondary bedroom, but again, just take a look at the, the light that is coming in here. This one can be either used as a secondary bedroom or as a little office, that's what you're saying. Okay, and also take a look at this. The kitchen, pretty convenient, huh? I mean, there's like a little bar. You can have like breakfast down here, uh, a large uh, sink space over there. And this apartment is including all the uh, furniture. Okay, so this condo comes fully furnished yes. and equipped. Furnished with what? Furnished with bed, with uh, two seat here for the, the bar, uh -huh. a sofa. The only thing we need to buy uh, after is the television and the re refrigerator. Okay, so the only things that are not included, television and, and refrigerator. Yes. Uh, air conditioners, yes. Uh, ceiling fans. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, my friends, so right now we're in a penthouse that actually is already sold but it's getting ready to be delivered. And so we're gonna take the chance to just take a look around so you can see all of the finishes and everything that, that, that it's delivered with. And so let's go. To begin with, well, just, I, I think this kitchen island deserves a, a special mention because it's fantastic. Just look at the size of that, look at the extraction belt. 
fantastic design as well. And well, just to, to, to give you a little idea, take a look at this. This is the balcony here at the uh, penthouse. Again, sorry for you guys, it's already sold, but just take a, take a look at the view. And by the way, this penthouse actually has a, a rooftop over here. Huh? Private. So, a private rooftop. And again, unfortunately, this is no longer for sale. It's already sold, but uh, I, I hope it's, it, it works just so that you take a look at what Maya Ocean is capable of doing. Take a look at this. It's fantastic. And can you imagine yourself living here, spending some vacation time here? This is great. And take a look, this is your own private pool. And over here, kind of the start of the show, which is the, the view. Take a look at that. And how's the water? Very good. <laughs> so let's go back downstairs so we can take a look at the uh, the bedrooms because there you will be able to see the closets and uh, uh, the rest of the finishes. So let's start by the closets right here. So it's delivered with closets. I want to point out over there the air conditioner for which we're both very thankful right now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the, the bathroom, but look at that. Double sink, great taste, great finishes. The shower, great space. And uh, I think it's important to take a look here at these finishes because again, as Ruby was saying, these are no cheap materials. They're, there's a lot of thought in this, right? So that's it. And again, this is just the penthouse that is no longer for sale. I'm sorry, guys, but you can take a look at, at uh, the qualities and uh, how actually Maya Ocean is building. So you can get a good idea of what to expect, expect in the following uh, pre-sales that, that uh, are upcoming in the, in the next year or so. Here, the incredible, unique view when you get out of the elevator. It's the sea with a li little reserve phonic. <laughs> because what you see right there, that is the Federal Reserve I was talking about a little earlier in this video. So the whole point about this Federal Reserve is that it's a protected zone. So you cannot build anything in all of this area. So that means that this view that you're seeing right now, and it's the view that you're gonna get here from the infinity pool, will remain unobstructed forever. As you can see, a little solarium right here, a shower right there. Over that, Ruby says it's like a grill area. A little kitchen with a barbecue. Okay. And all the area commune working uh -huh. with the energy with salt. Okay, okay. So the common areas, they have green energies here. Yes. Okay, For interesting. For all the embassy. The and bathroom. Bathrooms. And the little kitchen here. And the little kitchen. Perfect. Okay, so right now we're in the last property that we're going to be visiting today. This one is Caribic. So, Ruby, tell us where we are. We are at five minutes walking of the beach. Literally, the beach 72. It's the only beach we can bring our dog with you. So that's it. The, the beach at 72nd, that's Colosio Avenue. Two things. Number one, it's a blue flag uh, beach, meaning that they control the quality of the water, meaning that they have a, a lifeguard on duty, meaning that they have uh, toilets, meaning that they have a lot of services. And yeah, it's a beach that is also pet friendly and it's just a couple of blocks on that direction. And so here, this one is 62nd? 62. Six, 62nd Street. And again, over there, you're gonna find uh, the, uh, the first, no, that one is Fifth Avenue right there. That's Fifth Avenue, and here it's 10th Avenue. Phonic. And yeah, again, that's the Federal Reserve. So again, when they finish building right here, as you can see, the construction is undergoing. When they finish building there, all of the view that you're gonna have over there will remain unobstructed. So as you can see, the construction is already beginning. Uh, when is the, the, uh, the delivery planned for? 
S for uh, January uh -huh. 2025. January 2025. Okay, so there are still units available here. And so this is going to be it. So Ruby, thank you so much for your time. It's been very educative. It's been very fun. Uh, we've seen a lot of the properties of Maya Ocean, which is great. Again, Maya Ocean, a big developer with 16 years of experience, a great background also, and this is very important for me, a great background in vacation rentals. So when they build their, their, their developments, they have in mind your ROI. They know what they're doing to make a great investment for you. And so we saw a couple of, of their, their developments. Those are definitely not all of the developments that they have. Some are already built, some are already under construction, but this is the Maya Ocean world. So my friends, Ruby, thank you so much. Thank you. And to the next one.